Good morning. Happy Monday. Thanks for watching a new week of workouts. We have Dana here uh, working to demonstrate today. So give her a shout out in the comments. Thank you, Dana. Warm up today, 30 seconds per position. First round is easy bike. Second round is moderate bike. Third round is faster bike. After you finish that, you're going to step off. We're going to go to Spider-Man's. So we're going to be in a push-up plank position. Hands roughly shoulder width apart. You're going to alternate feet. Step the foot close to the hand. I try to get my toes right by the uh, back of my wrist. And then you can sink the chest down by bending the elbows a little bit. And then alternate sides. While you're doing this, try to keep the knee stacked above the foot. We don't want to let the knee buckle in as we're lowering down to the ground. On round one, you'll pick up your PVC pipe and you will do PVC pass-throughs. We're keeping our elbows locked out for the duration of the movement. Barbell passes from the front of the hip to the back of the hip without bending the arms. So round two, you'll hop on the bike, you'll go a little faster. When you're done with that, you'll go inchworm push-ups. So stand tall, go into a forward fold, hands go to the ground, walk your hands forward, do one push-up rep, hike the hips up and start walking the hands back to the feet. Then uh, with the PVC pipe, we are going overhead squats. So with that Y grip on the bar, we're going to keep the barbell locked out, hips go back and down as the knees stay stacked above the feet for the squat. Make sure the bar is going back a little bit as you descend on the squat. We want to keep the bar centered over uh, the center of the foot at the bottom of each rep. So then final round of the warm up, we are going faster bike and then we are doing mountain climbers, 30 seconds. We're back to our push up position, push up plank and now we're quickly jumping the feet close to the hands. Thinking about getting the knees close to the elbows. Uh, it's okay if you stay on the toes or keep your heel flat on the floor, just trying to get the hips warmed up and moving here. And then last PVC variation is the SOTS press. This is the most challenging one. Um, find that Y grip on the bar. We're gonna set the bar on the back and sit down the bottom of a squat. And then while holding this back squat position, we're gonna press up into the bar. Our goals here is to keep the elbows underneath the bar as we're pressing up rather than the elbows travel back. So working on that vertical movement of the bar. After you finish that, we're gonna go through the Comtrain overhead squat barbell warm up. Link is at the top of the screen. Click on that later and watch that. And then we're gonna do some warrior squats. You can set up uh, in front of a barbell. So set up in your squat stance. One hand is gonna hold onto your barbell in between and then the other hand is gonna rotate up and reach for the ceiling as you rotate your upper body also. You can use the uh, bottom elbow to drive the knee out to help stretch out uh, the bottom of the squat position. So you're going one minute of warrior squats, then we're gonna do a tabletop stretch. So you're sitting down on the ground, feet are gonna be flat, fingers can go facing forward or back, user's choice, and then drive the hips to extension and stretch out the front of the chest, front of the shoulder, biceps, forearms. One minute here, and then we're gonna finish in a couch stretch. So we'll take a mat over to the wall. The back foot is gonna be on the wall with the toe pointed up. We're trying to get the knee as close to the wall as we can. Front foot's in a lunge position, and then we are trying to keep the heel behind the hip. You can use your front thigh to push your chest vertical, or you can even reach up overhead and try to lean back into the wall. Whoa, man. So one minute per side in the couch stretch. Monday's workout is rush hour. Every four minutes for five rounds, you're gonna complete a 20 or 15 calorie bike. Uh, you can substitute any variation of bike or ski, or if you're rowing, we're going to go 25 or 18 calories rowing. Once you finish, you're going to move over to your barbell. We're doing 10 lateral barbell burpees. These should be quick reps. You're dropping down to the floor, jump your feet up, and immediately jump laterally over the bar. There's no requirement to stand up on each rep or clap. So let's try to stay low to the ground to move fast on these. After your 10 reps, we are going five power snatches. These are a little on the heavier side. Pick a weight where you could go touch and go if you are rested, but
but it's okay to drop these and perform as singles. Every rep, we want to make sure we're setting the back by getting the chest up, the upper back and lower back tight, and the hips down and braced. Notice uh, Dana brings the barbell to her hips, then aggressively jumps and locks out overhead. Rest the remainder of the time. Your score is gonna be the slowest of the five rounds of the workout. The home gym variation of the rush hour workout has a, another option for the cardio movement. Substitute the biker machine for a 200 meter single dumbbell run. Shoulder that dumbbell, run for 200 meters. If you don't have a dumbbell, feel free to use a pack or a weight vest. She's coming back, here she comes. Once you return from your 200 meter run, 20 alternating single dumbbell snatches. The dumbbells between the feet on every rep. Both heads are gonna to touch the floor. In one motion, stand tall, get the dumbbell locked out overhead. 20 reps, alternating sides. And then you'll go 10 lateral burpees over the dumbbell. When you lay down on the burpee on these, let's try to keep the hands uh, slightly in front of the dumbbell so that when you jump your feet up, they land uh, in line with the dumbbell so we can jump the feet over the dumbbell. For, Friday, for Monday's accessory work, if you have access to a rack and a barbell, we're gonna be doing some back squats. Check the percentages on the side of the screen. You're gonna unrack the barbell, take a couple small steps back, and then we're gonna take a deep breath in and then push that breath into the belly to brace our midline. We're gonna keep that position, keep the midline braced through the descent, so hold that breath. Exhale as you stand up, take another deep breath at the top of each rep. We don't wanna have the lower back round or the chest to drop excessively as we are performing our back squat. So make sure you're picking loads where you can maintain strong, stable, and safe positions. Thanks for watching our video, guys. Let us know how you do in the comments.